Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Immuno Project. We're here at the Immuno Project, are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, uh, guidance, advice, and uh, I'm reminded uh, of a story um, with respect to um, humility, meek people, apparently acting not so meek. I've uh, done some videos uh, on other examples of this. This particular one uh, dealt with uh, um, a common, uh, uh, a Torah commentary uh, when concerning Moses when he's pleading on behalf of the Jewish people uh, to God not to destroy them and not to uh, to wipe them out and to listen to him. And some of the commentators said that one of the uh, uh, reasons that uh, Moses gave to the Creator as to why he shouldn't uh, punish and destroy the Jewish people was that so that they should not say that I was not worthy to plead on their behalf. Now, the Torah says that Moses was the most humble man, the most meek man ever. So this seems inconsistent. For somebody who's so meek and mild, why is he saying, oh, you know, I don't want the Jewish people to think that I'm not worthy enough to, uh, to, 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 to make their, you know, pleas to you. Something's wrong here. I'm not the first person to uh, bring this up. Uh, they went to Rabbi Aaron of Karlin and posed this question. Listen, if, Mo uh, if Moshe Rabbeinu, if Moses, our teacher, was so meek and humble, why is he saying that you know, one of the reasons he shouldn't uh, uh, take vengeance was because I don't want them to think that I wasn't worthy enough to make the, the comments, you know, the, the, the plea on their behalf. What's up? What's going on here? Rabbi Aaron of Karlin says... You misunderstand the passage. It is because he was so meek and so humble and his view of himself that he says, I don't want the people to think that I'm not worthy because I want them to understand that if you listen to my prayer to you, it's because you listen to people who are not worthy um, it gives them hope. Uh, you, you listen to the people who are humble and destitute and low and uh, penniless and uh, without, uh, without strength. Show them that you listen even to someone who is un as unworthy as I am. That's the meaning of that passage, that they shouldn't think that, that I was unworthy. Show them that the unworthy, you hear the prayers of the unworthy. And that's the interpretation. That's, uh, that's sometimes uh, valuable to us, the words of Rabbi Aaron of, uh, Aaron of Karlin, because there are times uh, where some of us, most of us, all of us, um, that little Yetzahara says, who are you that, that God should listen to you? You're a nobody, you're a nothing. You're a loser, you're a sinner. Who do you think you are talking to God? That he's going to listen to you? That doubt, that feeling of like, oh, I'm not worthy. You know, like, you know, why is, why is he going to listen to me? This is what this passage is talking about. God listens also to the unworthy, especially to the unworthy. He wants to hear from you. Don't think you're so low. Moshe Rabbeinu, a humble guy, viewed himself uh, as very low. He was able to talk God out of um, destroying the Jewish people. Um, pretty convincing argument, but not based on pride or uh, self-puffery. It was uh, he realized he was nothing, and he says, rather than punishing them, teach them that God listens even to the worthless. We're going to be doing uh, more videos along these lines. Please come back. I hope you're finding them of some use and some inspiration. And until next time, on behalf of the Muna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.